Well, a good Friday morning to you all. I hope that your week has been good. I hope you've got a great weekend to look forward to. But I want to thank you for stopping by Designed by Kathy. First of all, I want to tell you how grateful I am that you have stopped by today and how much I love you guys. A week ago today, I took a little fall and broke six ribs. They thought that I had maybe, I thought I had bruised something, maybe cracked one, and they walk in and tell me that I broke six. So, yeah, it's been a little stressful week for me, but I just had to come paint because I just felt like I've sat in my chair with my ice packs and whatnot as long as I could. Probably won't be able to, I'm going to do a bloom. I'm going to have to use my little blower because while I'm doing my breathing practices, um, it I, I can't. I can't do that. I can't lean over and blow on the canvas, so I'm going to have to do something a little different. But I want to use the uh, one of the little piggies from this little pigment. It's called Taffy. It's a beautiful blue color. Uh, so I want to see what, uh, what kind of look we can get with this, so let me get right to pouring. For this painting, I'm going to be using from this little pigment, there you go, little pigment, or this little piggy, a pigment. And this is taffy. It's called taffy. It is a gorgeous blue. Gorgeous blue. I'm going to use, this is a Master's Touch. It says pink, but it's very peachy, peachy looking. So I like that color. And then I'm going to use, also from Master's Touch, this crimson. I've mixed up my, my paint, the medium, and you know, people keep saying, uh, and I, I'm, I've said it too, you know, your mixture, the consistency of warm honey. I got to thinking about it one day, do you guys heat your honey? Because I don't really heat my honey. To me, this is more like um, heavy cream or Eagle Brand milk. Think about that yummy, thick, gooey, delicious stuff when you're baking something. So that's about the consistency of what this is. So I'm going to try to divide it pretty evenly. There are three ounces of the HG, uh, HGTV, Sherwin-Williams, bought at Lowe's, Bay C. Infinity, I believe, is the uh, the paint, and it's mixed well with one tablespoon of polyurethane, polycrylic. So let me put these together. This is what I've got so far for the the pigment. I have blended the little piggy in with Liquitex Gel Gloss Medium. So I've really got like paste putty right now which you know but my color it looks well dissolved so we're going to see what happens when I put the uh, the pouring medium with it see if it holds the color and clearly we want it to hold a lot of shine so let's see what happens Be sure I scrape all that out of the little crevices in the bottom of my stir cup. Get everything off of my stir stick. Now that it's gonna be that's gonna be too thick. So for that instance, we are going to add some of the Joe Sonia varnish.
getting there, but still a little too thick. So I'm going to divide these out. Let's see how evenly we can get them. Oh, I still got a little more here. Actually, I think I can give that one a little bit more as well. Now, that looks pretty even. So this may give me just what we need for that perfect, perfect consistency. Now that looks nice. So I'm going to start here with this pink. This is a half a teaspoon of the Master's Touch. That is nice. Go with half a teaspoon of the crimson. Okay, that looks perfect. Now back to this. Still think I got it a little too, just a teeny weeny weeny bit too thick. It's not looking too bad, so we're close. I wanna kinda of get, you know, let's in comparison. Okay, in comparison, just a little bit more. I've only used the uh, piggy pigments <laughs> in my resin uh, projects, so I haven't actually mixed it up like this and used it in a bloom yet. Okay, now that looks pretty close to the other two, perfect. For my cell activator, I'm going to use the one, uh, same one I used in the last video, which is the 10 parts of American Floetrol, one part uh, Amsterdam Titanium White, and a, uh, what did I use? A teaspoon, half a, te half a teaspoon of glue wall, Elmer's glue wall. And I had, I, I had really good luck with that, so, you know, I, I, as I keep trying to uh, re-state, refocus, when you find what works for you, when you find what works for you, keep doing it. So this is the color place, which is um, 
the length, or not length, the below is the what all goes into this. And I'm about out of it. Oh no. But anyway, this is the color place from Walmart. White satin. Ultra, no, ultra right was the other one. What is this one? Uh, anyway, I'm looking at the wrong can, but uh, I believe it's white satin. The Valspar that I've used that I like also is ultra, ultra white. The crimson. And now the the little little piggy blue taffy. My little cell activator. Now I'm going to have to use, as I mentioned, my little world's um, smallest blower. I cannot blow. I thought it would be good exercise for you know, the broken ribs to be able to blow because I'm practicing that with the little, one of those little things you blow in, they give you it before you go have surgeries and stuff to strengthen your lungs. I've been doing that, but for whatever reason, trying to do this, that was a, a bit too painful. So I'm going to have to do it like this. But hey, like I said, this is how much I love you guys. I have six broken ribs and I'm doing a video. So let's blow this out. There was a little blob there, but okay, things are starting to pop up. Uh, like, like Jody said, what she noticed using the the Floetrol, the ten to one, it just take it's it's takes longer to to react. So, we're gonna let that see. We've got some nice things popping up, and then we're gonna spin it and see if we can't stretch that out. Um, Liking the colors so far. I want to see what they do when we spin it. But I think that looks pretty nice. So let's, let me give it a little whirl and see what we get from that. like that. Now, I want to unconcentrate some of this if I can.
Well, I lost most of my blue. The piggy. I lost the piggy. Oh, no. It's all over here. That looks good. But I lost it throughout here. It's coming up, you know, here and there. But it's also wrapping around some of these cells in here. Now, for this, uh, this time, what I see more of is cells versus the lacing. I still think it's pretty. Uh, and I, oops, I like the cells. Just really wanted to keep more of that blue. So maybe we'll try them again in a, in a reverse order, a different order. Because that, uh, apparently that has a, a significant different, or effect, not a difference, effect on um, how they they come up. But I do think it's really cool that I just still can't tell what that is right there. Um, that it's coming up around some of these these cells, so that looks pretty cool to me. Well, so I guess I'd have to say, as far as a t uh, technically a bloom, this would uh, eh. I don't know if I want to call it a fail, but it certainly wasn't at the top of the list there, but I do like it. I like how it came out. I like these colors. I just, like I said, this color, this uh, uh, Master's Touch Pink, it's just really peachy looking, and this looks so pretty with the crimson and then that bit of blue in there. But I'll try reversing the colors different, you know, laying them on there a little differently next time and see which one takes over more or shows up more. But uh, again, still like it. Nice sales. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you, subscribers. And have a great weekend. I hope it's sunshine and where you are. And there's warm weather. Let's say warm weather, sunshine. Get on the lake. Have a good time with your family. And I'll see you next week.